Why did that sound like it just dumped all the air? And it did. Come join us out here. Hey, this is Adam from Alaska Cut the Cord, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I went ahead and I saw a recipe online to make your own ballistics gel. So, why not try it? Well, we made some. Let's see what size it is. So what we've got here, it's about six and a half inches long, and just under six inches tall, um, in the same width. So it's, I don't know, I haven't done much with ballistics gel, but seems like it. I, maybe it's not quite the same consistency. Oddly satisfying. Um, but really? <laughs> we're going to try a 17, a 22, a 35, and a 45 caliber air rifle in the ballistics gel. So let's get started. The first one that we're going to try, this is a Gamo 17 cal. I've had this gun for probably eight years. Um, really accurate, really nice gun. And uh, we're going to be shooting, it's the gold plated Raptor ammo. The gold plating is supposed to make it like 200 feet per second faster. And from everything I've read, it's about 1100 feet per second. So, uh, whoops, let's try not to drop it. Let's see how this does. So this is a break action rifle. So you just clip it open. You put your pellet in here. I always push down to make sure that it's seated. And then you flip it back up. Your safety on a pellet rifle is kind of weird, I think. Um, your safety is right here on this one. So pulled all the way back is safe. Push forward is fire. So let's try it. So there it is. It made it, well, let's see how far. The 17 cal made it about five and a quarter inches before it got stopped. Hmm, not bad. That's better than I thought it would do. Okay, I'll go grab the 22. The reason I'm doing this typically, I would have all the guns laid out but it's about 13 degrees and I'm worried that they're going to get too cold. I don't know. So um, it takes me just a second to grab it. Okay. The next gun that we're going to use, this is an Umarex in a 22 caliber. Um, looks like a really nice gun. Feels like a nice gun. Cost enough like it was a nice gun. But it's the most inaccurate gun I've ever had. I've tried two different scopes on it. I'm guessing it may be... It came with this and it's plastic. That might be the issue. But you can see how far the side is off a of center in order to make it hit a target. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. But again, this is a break action. And on this one, it's a little different. It automatically puts it on safe and your safety is back here. So we're gonna be shooting. That almost fell apart. Um, and this is maybe a little bit cheating because these are hollow points, um, 22 caliber, just straight lead. I couldn't find the gold plated for these, but the same action loaded in the chamber, press it in to seat it and it's ready. So I will aim above that last one. Get up safe. It captured the 17, but the 22 went through. I think our ballistics gel is not 100% up to snuff. Do you think maybe it's because it froze and we had I think to... it could be. We had some technical difficulties. We set it outside. We were supposed to bring it in because we made it actually last weekend when we were going to shoot, but then it rained and snowed and rained and snowed. So we brought it in, reconstituted it, and it didn't seem quite right. 
But try another shot. I can. I can try a second just to be sure. Shot number two with the Omer X 22 caliber. Good. All the way through. Huh. That's odd. So the hollow point didn't really seem to slow it down at all. I would have thought the hollow point would have made it quite a bit slower. Hmm. Okay. Well, next up, the FX Mark III and the 9mm. We'll go grab it. Okay. In the previous video, you saw me with this weapon, the FX Mark III, in 9mm or 35 caliber. And uh, so I'm not going to go through a ton of stuff on it other than this is a bullpup design. So the loading is quite different. While you work the action here, the end of the barrel is actually here. So we will insert our magazine. Nice solid click. And when we bring it forward, it will chamber around. Okay, so since the 22 did go through our homemade ballistics gel, I have no hope that it's gonna stop this but it may be slightly more dramatic. Wow, that definitely made a hit. And it obviously blasted right on through. Huh. Well, that was kind of dramatic. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, you heard it swack that just with a big wet slop sound. Huh, that was that was pretty cool. So the 35 caliber goes right on through. And I don't think it slowed down a whole lot either. I'm kind of struggling to see the wound channel in it. Huh. Meanwhile, we've got one last gun to try in a 457 caliber. Let's see what that does. Okay, and the last gun that we're going to fire is the Hotson Pile Driver in 45 caliber made in Turkey. Um, quality control apparently done in China. Um, we're going to be shooting a little bit different ammo with this. This is 45 caliber, and this was made by our friends at Curmudgeon Inn. Um, he's going to be starting up a YouTube channel soon, so he wanted me to try his ammo. And as you also notice, there's no scope on this gun. There's no scope on this gun because I put it on another one. So I will do my best to actually hit the target. We're not far away. Don't hit the camera. Try not to hit the camera. So let's see if it fails or if it works this time. Okay, that worked. Drop it in. Okay. I don't know where safe is on this, but... Oh, I... Boy, this is tough. I really don't know. Why did that sound like it just dumped all the air? And it did. I... I don't know, this thing is a piece of junk. It just did a complete air dump, the whole tank in one shot. I don't know what to tell you. I saw the whole thing move, but it looks like I was over the target. No. Huh? No. You hit the bottom. Oh, I did. Oh, I did hit it. See down here. Oh, okay. It's a giant disaster. Oh, it's a huge hole. Not the ammo's fault, but the gun's fault. Um, but it also blasted all the way through and dumped about 3,000 PSI of air all in one shot. So, there you go, the Hudson fails again. Um, but that was our little ballistics gel, use my words here, ballistics gel test. Um, I think we have a little bit of work to do on our recipe and the size and shape of our block. I think it needs to be about twice this long and doesn't need to be as high. So 
we will get to work on that so we can do another test and I don't know what to do about this maybe use it for a doorstop um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that a little bit something different kind of enjoy the air guns the air gun scene and uh, yeah that's what we're doing today love you bye